Welcome to SharePoint Pittsburgh. My name is Caroline and I will be introducing you to Lesson 3, Document Library Basics. Today we'll be working with the document library and using versioning and checkout. In working with the document library, we will be creating a document library, uploading single and multiple documents, and editing documents without versioning turned on. In using versioning and checkout, We'll be turning on versioning, working with documents and versioning, turning on check-in, check-out, and working with check-in, check-out. I'm going to hand this over to Leo, who will be teaching you today's lesson. Thank you, Caroline, and welcome back to SharePoint Pittsburgh, everyone. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, again, is log into the server. So we'll go up here, type in our server's address. Now what we're going to do is go to the stores uh, site and we're going to create our first document library. We can do this by going up to site actions, new document library. And we're actually going to be creating a document library for uh, Happy Scoop super secret uh, recipes. So we'll go ahead and type in recipes for the uh, name. Then for the description we'll do ice cream recipes. And we're not going to change any of the default settings yet. We're actually going to work with those uh, later by uh, editing them in the settings menu. So we'll hit create now. Now that we've created a document library, what we want to do next is add documents. So we'll go up here to the add new document. And then what we can do is we can browse for a document or we can upload multiple files. So we're going to right now go ahead and click browse. I already created a bunch of fake documents, uh, so what we'll do is we'll just click uh, my favorite, Chocoholic Recipe, and press OK. And now what's going to happen is it's going to pop up a properties uh, menu. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and add the title of this document. The uh, Chocoholic Recipe is just the name of the actual file, so we're going to call this Chocoholic Ice Cream Recipe. And you may be wondering why uh, why we have to do this. Uh, again, that's that's more for an advanced lesson, so just go ahead and follow along for now, and we'll go ahead and talk about properties and, and what we can do with those properties later on. So go ahead and click Save. And now you'll notice that uh, the document is now in our document library. Uh, first thing, we have the icon. So if you, if you have a sharp eye, you can actually look and see that this is the actual icon for a Word document. Uh, if we upload an, another document, which you'll see next, you'll actually see a, uh, the different icons for the various different type of documents. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, upload a few more documents. And we'll go ahead and click Upload More Files. And I'm actually going to make sure that it can still overwrite. So we'll go to uh, Fake Documents going to go ahead and just click that to make it easy on me. Press OK. Do you want to upload six files to the server? I'm going to go ahead and click yes and it's going to go ahead and overwrite our chocolate recipe. OK, and you can actually tell that it did because the modified time is the exact same as, as all of the others. So great, now uh, what I just realized is I must have accidentally uh, uploaded the incorrect document to the recipes document library because lesson three PowerPoint is not a, uh, you know, it's obviously not a recipe. And you can actually tell it's also a PowerPoint, so it's not even a document itself. So what we'll do, or I should say a Word document, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and delete this document. Go ahead and click delete. Do you want to ensure to send this to the recycle bin? And I'm going to press OK. Now you'll notice that now we just have our recipes in here. Okay, now that we've uploaded all the, uh, the documents, what we want to do now is actually edit the documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the name, and then it'll actually open up Word. Uh, whenever you click on the name, it actually just opens it up in uh, view mode, so you can actually edit that, and we'll see that uh, momentarily once this document loads. Okay, now that it's loaded, let's go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and 
try typing a bunch of stuff, but as you can hear by the clicks of the keyboard, uh, I'm unable to do that. And up here you also see it's a server document, which this document actually is still stored on the server. I'm going to show you how to uh, store it in your local drafts uh, later but uh, and, and onto your machine. But for right now, it's still stored on the server. And in order to edit it, we actually have to click this button, Edit Document. So I'm going to go ahead and click that now. And I'm going to actually change the recipe to 11 apples. So we'll go ahead and do that. Go back up here, and we're going to save our document. And when I click Save, you'll actually notice a box pop up. Yep, right there. And it's actually saving it directly to the server. So we'll go ahead and hit X, and then we're going to check the modified date to make sure that it did indeed save to the server. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at the properties of uh, this document. When I go to View Properties, we're going to notice uh, there's nothing that says anything about versioning. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about versioning. Uh, what versioning enables us to do is just say you create a document and then you edit the document and you save it. But if versioning isn't turned on, you, you can't revert back to a previous version. So versioning kind of lets you have backup copies of your document in case you need to reference them or go back to the pre a previous version. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to library settings and turn on versioning. I'll go ahead and create, do this with uh, major versions. And again, this is just an intro. We're going to go over all of uh, you know the major and minor versions in detail later. But for right now, we're just going to create a major version. We're going to only keep five copies on the server because if you don't uh, limit the amount of versions, we could possibly have hundreds, and that would just take up too much space. So. Whenever um, it gets, you know, the sixth version would be removed. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, what I should say, the first version technically would be removed. Six would stay. So the latest version would would stay. So now I'm going to go ahead and press OK here. Okay, now we've turned on versioning. So if we go back to our document library, rest called recipes, um, and we go back to the properties of the document. First of all, you can see version history right there, uh, view properties, and we can go version history here also. You'll notice that we're on version number one. Now I know that we edited, edited April Apple previously, but because we just turned on versioning now, uh, we only have one version. So again, what we'll do is we'll edit April Apple again. This time uh, we will go and uh, edit it directly without opening it up in uh, read-only mode by clicking on the name. So we'll go here click and now the ribbon will actually pop up right away and we can edit it uh, without having to click that edit button okay great now what we're going to do is we'll add we'll change the recipe again we'll add uh, you know what we'll make it four cups of sugar we'll go back up here save it once again we'll notice that box pop up here and saving to the server as soon as that's done, we'll close it. We'll be able to check that the modified date is different, and we'll actually now be able to see that we're going to be on version 2. So now we see that the modified date has changed. We can go to version history, and now we'll see that now we do indeed have version number 2. So great. Now my only uh, thing that I want to change now is um, I don't see the version here. So what I want to do is I want to add version to our view. And if you're not familiar with what, with what views are, uh, please check out our previous lesson, lesson two, uh, to learn more about views. So I'm going to go and click library up here. Go ahead and uh, go to modify view. So I used to go into library settings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on version. Again, last episode we talked about sorting and filtering. Uh, you can go ahead and check out our previous video if you want to learn about that. But right now we're going to just go ahead and press OK, and now the version should actually pop up over here.